Hello and welcome to another episode of A Little Film About, with me, your handsome host, Frank. This week, we're in the northwest of England, and we're about to meet an artist doing some rather wonderful things with eggs. She paints things like golden syrup, hot dogs, complete with deliciously mustard detail, porcelain fawns, um, not that, and lots of ice cream, this one knobbly. May I introduce the star of this week's show, Joel. It's Joelle. But you can call me Joey. I'm not quite sure how I would define myself. On my tax return, I put artist slash illustrator. <laughs> Growing up in New Zealand, when you leave a country and go to another country, you notice the differences. I like the food to have a little maybe something extra that kind of tells a little bit about the place where I'm painting it and the people here. When I have an idea of what I want to paint, I just have to think where's the best place this is going to come from. Sometimes I might have to make it or grow it. Look, the perfect purple sprouting broccoli. The perfect rhubarb. So what's next, Joey? I take a whole load of photographs and maybe a whole load more again and again until I've got it just right and then I'll Photoshop bits together because it is hard to get the perfect drip or the perfect scoop. Here's Joy, relaxing with some ice cream. One of the perks. Joy paints onto special panels called Gesso boards. This looks like a labor intensive process, Joy. I usually prepare like a number of boards at once because it is a long process. There has been times where I've been getting up at two o'clock in the morning just to finish off the gesso. Egg tempera is a paint that's been around for a really long time. It was used by artists before oil paint was invented. I grind my own paints from powdered pigments. I need to bind it to keep the pigment particles together, which is where the egg yolk comes in. You have to mix about half and half. It only lasts for a day and then it kind of goes off. The colours are always fresh and bright and they don't get muddied easily. I usually start with ultramarine blue underpaint, then I'll go over that with maybe a cadmium vermilion, and then maybe yellows, oranges, and then I'll probably start putting in more specific colours that I've blended and mixed up and work up the detail. The whole process usually takes one to two weeks for a large painting. Joy, what do you hope people take away from your work? I hope my paintings will make people feel happy. If I'm lucky, they'll smile. Well, I know I am, though a little hard to tell with the beak. That brings us to the end of this week's episode. I've been Frank, and you've been cracking. Good night. Yes. And then a bump, bump, bump. Right. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Two, two, three. <laughs>